Well, I've got good news and I've got bad news. The good news is Fault Symmetry's Patreon server is hosting our very first UHC tournament ever. Which will mean it'll be my very first UHC tournament ever. So, that's the good news. The bad news is I'm practicing. I'm not subjecting to... I'm not subjecting you to it at full speed, so I've doubled up the speed on this. See, I've learned this trick where you just right-click uh, planks of wood so that you end up with a crafting table and sticks, which takes a little time anyway. Starting with an axe, because there's a ton of trees, and I'm hoping that I will get apples off of oak trees, because Minecraft. So I'm practicing recording myself uh, using UHC style tactics. I'm on hardcore. I'm on version 1.7.9 with OptiFine because it seems to me that plugins for UHC are a little tricksy and I don't know if, I mean, even Mindcrack isn't playing on 1.8.1. I don't know if anybody's playing on 1.8, which is buggy. So I don't know what version we're going to be in yet. It's going to be held, I think, the night before Christmas Eve. I'm not sure. Or on Christmas Eve, which doesn't make sense to me. But anyway, uh, I'll put up the video afterward. So this week what I'm doing is I'm practicing tactics. Now this is a very, very, very lucky seed. Here's a little shallow cave with both coal and iron in it and you'll notice that I have plenty of cows and plenty of oak tree for apples I always feel so silly when I say that I'm very very slow uh, for some reason I have a extreme trouble with crafting so what I notice about watching good UHC players is that they have body memory their hands know exactly what to do um, to accomplish certain tasks. It's like when you say, I'm going to get up and walk to the bathroom. You don't have to actually think about every muscle movement and how your weight is balanced on your toes or your heels. And, you know, or you don't have to think about which direction you have to walk. Or maybe you do it at 3 o'clock in the morning. I don't know. But it's pretty automatic. For me, this game is still not automatic because, like I told you, I've been trying to relearn body mechanics, and so none of this is coming natural to me. But I am getting better. I should. Correction. There's no should. I would like, when playing UHC, to be able to m maneuver objects in my inventory just about as quickly as I'm doing it here at double speed. Because when I watch really good UHC players, this is about how fast they're able to manipulate objects and craft things and use furnaces and anvils and enchantment tables and the whole nine yards, okay? For me, there's a lot of thinking involved and a lot of remembering what it is that I need to do next. It's not that I'm forgetful about what it is that I'm doing it's that I have to think what to tell my body to do to make things happen in addition you add the pressure of trying to move quickly and efficiently the pressure of being on hardcore and of course there's going to be the pressure of having to fight with actual human beings I am pleased to say that I've gotten a bit of an update from Fault Symmetry's Patreon server and I know that we will be on team which will help not immensely, but it will help. I hope that we don't micromanage things to the point where you get the cobblestone, you get the meat, you get the... Uh, I don't think that works very well. I think for at least beginning resources, I think that people need to work cooperatively in a pretty close space, unless we have to go hunt for something. If there are no trees in the general vicinity, then somebody's going to go tree hunting. And animal hunting and you see what I mean but the people left standing around can't do too much if they don't have access to wood because they can't make tools so it has to be on a case-by-case -case basis you can't micromanage and create sub teams with um, very very specific tasks because we have to work cooperatively if I were working with a team here 
I would immediately send somebody to get wood and we would all start crafting tools. I would suggest one person have a crafting table and the others don't because of the whole uh, broadcasting achievements thing. I know some people have written plugins so the achievements are no longer broadcast in UHC tournaments, but that's rare. Here's a mistake I'm making. I'm staying out after dark because I'm trying to get down the last of this tree in case there's some more apples. I should have left and gone underground and done stuff and then come back and if apples had despawned, they had despawned. Was well, smart here though, went behind a tree to get my spider. The problem is I doubled back to double check that I had whether or not I had gotten string. I believe I got two string off that spider. And that wasted time being outside. I also am lost. I I mean, I know the general vicinity where I am, but there was a nice big deep cave. I would like to go back to that. And I'm not. I don't remember which direction it is. I should have marked it with something. Even if it was just a piece of dirt or sand or gravel or something. Um, and now I'm out here surrounded by cooties getting hurt. And of course, if this were real um, ultra hardcore, not just hardcore, my health would not regenerate and that would be bad now i've lost out on the cave and essentially i'm going to have to just dig down to get basic stuff like cobble so this was a mistake mm. so all of this is taking time it's i'm not accustomed to this and i don't think i'm going to do well in the first uhc even if i practice a lot this week and I will practice a lot this week, and I will uh, publish my videos this week. Not because I think they're brilliant YouTube videos, but because I need to be in the habit of playing UHC and videotaping. I don't think that I will do much commentary. What I will do is I will probably be on either TeamSpeak or Skype. It's their choice. I hope it's TeamSpeak. Um, to talk with my team. But you are not going to be able to hear my voice that way. So what I'll have to do is plug in crap up, turn on Audacity and secondary microphone, and that will record my voice, and then I'll have to sync my voice to the video, which is hard to do. I'm having trouble with the dragon fight on Fall of the Server, trying to sync up my voice with the, with everybody else's voice. So that's why I haven't put out the dragon fight video yet. Oh, I should also point out that I'm... I've been very busy this week doing outdoor chores because we had pleasant weather for over a week where I was able to be out in short sleeves. Yeah. So there was a lot of gathering up water and uh, laundry and what else did I do? Oh, I organized my yard in such a way that I could pull my truck in right outside my trailer spot instead of there being like lawn furniture and barbecues and stuff out there. So I rearranged my yard while the weather was nice and warm. Here's a little trick. You right click while you shift and your clothes go on automatically. Now in this video I checked every time to make sure I was doing it right. It I asked for guess and about it because he was doing it. He would be holding his armor in his hand and the next thing would be on his body and I didn't I this is all me to me. I wish somebody would do a tutorial about how to use all the commands and whatnot so I wouldn't look so silly when I'm doing this stuff. So this is my first video. I did not finish this game because, why? Oh, because there was some stuff I had to do in real life. So I left it right at the point that I had gotten to basically Diamond Lair. I was at a lava lake um, and I had full suit armor. I can go back to the game. Um, of course, anyway, I still wouldn't be able to do that. So you tell me, would you like to see me try to finish out and I've and get gold and diamonds and maybe an enchanting table or would you like to just watch me start another one because I'm just going to keep practicing until I get better at this be more organized about my furnaces too I think I ought to have at least two crafting tables so I can keep one in my inventory all the time and at least three furnaces so I can keep one in my inventory all the time um, so that they're easier to pick up. It's easier if you have stacks of stuff. See, I've organized my wood on the left side. Next time I open up my inventory, look how I've organized my, um, hot bar, the bottom pen, and even the internal inventory. I've been practicing doing that while playing 
Minecraft dingo. I'm poke holing in case there's something there. You know how I am about bait ores. There was probably something behind the gravel. I hear a, I'm not able to hear the audio for the game while I'm um, recording my narrative. So I know that I heard lots of cooties and I was chasing sounds. Mm. Spider and skeleton, I was not good at putting this cobblestone down. But again, it's practice. Um, I'm trying to learn to use my number pad so that instead of scrolling, I will go right to the right item in my hotbar. I wish I had looked behind that gravel. I need gravel anyway. I haven't found chickens in this world yet, but I need gravel anyway. That was poorly done. Um, so that I could make arrows. And it would have it would have been okay for me to do that. I'm closing this off so that cooties can spawn there so that I can cave with a mob cap somewhere else besides where I'm working. Pure plain and simple. Honey pot. I didn't know which direction to go, but this was going down, so, you know, nice little patch of iron. Um, it didn't take me long to gear up. This is a really fortunate seed. I got real lucky with just stumbling into that cave. I don't really deserve that cave. There was a real cave entrance um, not far from there, which is kind of why I dug down that way anyway. I mean, I was, mobs had me trapped. There wasn't any point in leaving that spot. I knew there was a pretty deep cave somewhere nearby, and I kind of hoped that I'd run into it. But again, I had no idea which direction it was, so I was not playing my best game. Should have done poke holes back there, because I bet that cave goes through. And I blocked it off instead. I should have done poke holes. There's a belly button hole there, a donut hole, at the end of that cave. I'm pretty sure there's something there. Now this was silly. I heard a skeleton down here. I think this is the right one. Oh, at least I had the sense to clean up the water sign enough to swim up it. Mm, yeah, it'll be down here. This, I'm going to hear a skeleton. Hold on. I was afraid I lost my iron. Thought I didn't. When you see the mouse troll like that, it's because I set the mouse down to use my number pad. So I hold my mouse in my right hand, and sometimes the mouse rolls down my tummy. And I'm just going to have to get some kind of slightly sticky mouse pad kind of thing to lay across my stomach so the mouse won't slide off. It's perfectly fine now, now that I'm recording this audio. It's not trying to go anywhere. It's sitting right where I put it. But it is an issue. I'm having trouble remembering how to count how many items I need um, to make armor. I miscalculated the chest plate earlier. I only had enough to make pants. For some reason, I thought the chest plate was seven iron, but it's eight. It's all but one iron. And there's nine in the crafting thing. Okay, so now I come down here and I get into a tussle that I should not have. Um, I don't have a bow. I've got to try to remember that this is ultra hardcore. Yeah, there's a skeleton over there and I hear it. There's also creepers. I did not do this well. Did not. Lost half a heart on that. And then when I heard these guys, I should have blocked it off and gone down and then come back later. I should not have tried to take these guys on. I should have gone downhill and left them be. See, I have no place for adequate cover, and I keep falling in holes, and there's no place to hide. And now, this guy's going to chase me. I'm not in the clear. I'm going to come back and find that skeleton is after me. See? And I'm in the dark because he's trying to make a honey pot. Ugh. Poorly done. But you don't learn unless you try, right? So... And there's iron and gold over there. I'm also at lava layer, so I'm trying to get everything lit. Just in case. Now, again, I don't know what version we're in, and I'm in 1.7.9 with Occupine right now. And, of course, you can't use Lapis for enchanting. However, Lapis is awesome for its XP, and it can be farmed, mined with any pick except wood. Now, why... And now I don't, I was trying to put blocks down, 
and they had a chance to get to me. So I was holding a block in my hand instead of a weapon or even a tool. I've also put blocks on top of the iron that I want to mine up. This would be a good way to um, attack the cooties because I'm underneath them. Not, just not thinking well, you know. Again, it's a matter of practice and not being spooked. There's a lot of things to get used to to get even used to the concept of playing um, UHC. Remember, it wasn't that long ago that I would turn mobs off. I would go to peaceful so I could get stuff done, so I could go caving or whatever. So I get things done without having panic attacks. So I'd say I'm making really good progress. However, I'm going to have to go against real people. There was a um, UHC live stream last night. I watched Wintermog's Perspective on Twitch. And it was really something, buddy. It was really something. Uh, and I watched some highlights from Burkasms and uh, Fairy Juice today. It was a it was a brilliant tournament. And after it was over, Winter Ma invited us to a server right here I've never been before. It's called Alacrity, a PvP server. And if she recommends it, well, now. I'm pretty good. I don't understand the server yet, and I don't understand the rules and all that kind of thing. Basically, you just type slash PVP, and you have a sword and, I believe, iron armor. I think it's an iron sword. And a bow, and I don't even know how many arrows. I'm a really good shot. What I did was I stuck up on some guys from far, far away who were having a fight, and I watched which one was taking the most damage. And I started shooting. I got three hits. I didn't kill him, but I got three hits. I heard it go ding, ding, ding. Yeah. Um, I don't move quickly, but I I tried. And I will keep trying that too, and I might record a few rounds of that also. Because I have to get used to it. It's one thing to um, go after entities in the game, but it's a completely different thing to go after with players. And I have no, no familiarity, none, with um, combat with players. None. So I'll go play over there too. See, I'm digging poke holes, looking for diamonds, whatever. There is some place else to go. I hear a skeleton. I hear a bat. I think I hear water. Like I said, I don't have the volume turned up. So I kind of dug around in here looking. See, if I find a bait ore, it's okay for me to dig toward it. Um, because it could be hiding gold or diamonds or a cave. So it's fine for me to dig toward bait ore. I'm not going to do any um, ranch mining, strip mining, whatever it's called. But it's fine to look for bait ore. But I was running out of time. I was trying real hard to play. Uh, couldn't see too well. That's why the torch. Um, and then I do something silly. I thought I blocked off my furnace. The furnace was freaking iron. See how I stumble around and get lost? I don't know what to do about that except keep playing. I could have used two furnaces and I would have had all that iron cooked up. And I'm well on my way to an anvil, really. Mm, so we're just about out of time. Um, let me know if you think I should continue this game or if I should start over from the beginning. And I'm going to put up one of these a day. They're a pain in the, you know what, because I have to take a 30 FPS video and render it at 60 FPS. And um, then put music and my voice in a thumbnail picture and blah, blah, blah. It's work to put these out. But let me know if you would like to see the end of this game, because we're just about done. Or if you would like to see me start over again from scratch. Um, it's going to be a long week. I'm going to be practicing all week. I had all kinds of other plans and stuff I wanted to do this weekend. But nope, I'm going to try to get as ready for UHC as I can. Thanks for watching. I've got to keep up my arms. Don't bend. Bye!